I usually start with a little bit of white, and then I'm like, okay, put some red, put some yellow. I keep looking at my skin. I see. Need a little bit. Oh, too much green. What part of your arm is it? I'm just looking at my hand, really. And I keep mixing it in. And if you get like, if you start getting too Martian-y like right now that I'm doing, just remember you can just keep adding colors. So in the workshop, we were in the art room and Ana Teresa kind of taught us how to work with our skin tones. And she kind of gave us a bit of background about this project, how, like how the Zora Neale Hurston essay inspired her. So I found that really cool because I like Zora Neale Hurston. And after that, we kind of got started on mixing our own skin tones and doing the workshop. It was really cool because she told us that little kids, they tend to paint their skin tone in a more realistic way because they can like see all of the colors in their skin tone. And as I was like helping out the little kids, they weren't really overthinking it and kind of just did what their heart told them and it ended up really well. So. to get involved because I had met Ana Teresa before, I had been familiar with her work, um, and I think this project in particular is really impactful because it brings our community together and it is a reflection of who we are and all of the unique individuals that bring life to our community. I also had met Ana Teresa before because she came to our school and I was really interested in her work. And also, I love working with little kids, and I love being part of the younger part of our community and just getting to know them all better. I saw some of Ana Teresa's work when I drive on my way home, so I thought it would be a really cool experience to be a part of this because I have seen her work, and I just think everything that she's doing is so amazing. very bold and she like inspires groups of people like women and minorities to be themselves and embrace themselves. It's a lot of like female empowerment, there's a lot of like um, feminist undertones I feel like. This project is kind of about like not having those blank walls and kind of having space for everybody to just feel comfortable and not necessarily feel like really out there in front of a white wall, but to have like everybody's ethnicities and colors shown behind them. It's pretty fun working with little kids because they kind of just like do their own thing and they kind of just figure it out as they go. Like even if you tell them, don't add too much green, like their first few colors will maybe be fully green and they don't really listen to you and kind of just go on their own. But then in the end, it turns out really well and they kind of figure out what colors go together. And it's just like they kind of learn from themselves rather than like listening to what you have to tell them. <laughs> <laughs>